Um, honorable members of Woodland Government Cabinet, Director Generals from Woodland Line Minister, Officers from UNICEF and representatives from UN agencies, representatives from international NGOs, national civil society partners of UNICEF, including Save the Children, Red Crescent, and Diamond. Distinguished participants who are joining this meeting online, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, Assalamu alaikum. Firstly, I would like to thank UNICEF Woodland Office for convening this important meeting to discuss key milestones of UNICEF Somalia counter program midterm review. I also wish to thank all the participants for sparing your valuable time to attend this meeting and to engage on important issues that are under discussion today. On behalf of Woodland Government, I would like to express my gratitude for UNICEF for supporting Woodland children, families, and communities over the past quarter of century. UNICEF has been a leading contributor to key priority sectors in Woodland, including water, health, um, nutrition, child protection, and education and social policies. I deeply appreciate UNICEF's efforts to ensure that meaningful consultation with all partners, especially Woodland government agencies, on the design of the country program in the next two and a half years. This is the best practice approach and ensures local ownership and inclusive participation, which in turn increases successful implementation and lasting impacts from the UNICEF's country programs which will solely in line with aspirations and needs of the target benefits of children and communities across Woodland. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past few years, the state of Woodland has made unparalleled political, economical, and social development progress, including some historic milestone achievements in several fronts. In recent evaluation of the progress of the current Woodland Five-Year Development Plan 2020-2024, conducted by Minister of Planning, revealed that Woodland government has met most of its objectives and targets across the main development pillars. This is despite the historic severe droughts, the prevailing global crisis of COVID-19 inflations and food crisis. The increased conflict and hunger driven IDBs and refugee influx from across all woodland borders, as well as decreased international aid and development. Over the past two and a half years, there has been drastic political, geopolitical, and economical transformation in Woodland that have changed much of the country's political landscape and reality on the ground, which the initial design of the UNICEF program has been developed on. This includes the political context, which reflects the relationship between Woodland government and federal government of Somalia. In relation to this recent abandonment of 2012 professional constitution, that was the premises of Somali's transition from transitional state to fully recognized sovereign state. Woodland government and development ties with the federal government has been severed. Woodland have successfully implemented local district elections in 33 districts based on one person, one vote for the first time since 1969. Woodland local district elections have taken place peacefully in places that has been formally disputed with Somaliland separatist government. This is directly reflecting that Eastern Senegal is no more in a dispute. Similarly, Las Ano and most of Seoul region is no longer under control of Somaliland and cannot be accessed from Somaliland. Access to the entire Seoul, Sarag, and Ain region is only possible 
through Portland. On the security front, the defeat of Al-Shabaab and ISIS insurgents in Golis Mountains in Bari and Eastern Sinai, as well as the cessation of border hegemonies and hostilities with Gal Muduk, as well as Al-Shabaab sales eradication in Gal Kayo. On the economical front, the construction and operationalization of Grad Board has been completed, which is the Somali's fifth boss. The rehabilitation of Gal Kayo to Bosasa Road is underway. The economic revitalization of Bosasa City, which includes the extension of Bosasa Port and Airport, is ongoing. The most of geopolitical status quo, which have prevailed for two and half decades in Somalia, has drastically changed and are currently deemed irrelevant and hold no truth anymore. These changes have created new realities on the ground that call for a comprehensive review of UNICEF's, UNICEF's country program framework as well as all other national strategic programming and the development of uni unique and a new engagement policies, partnership strategies in Butler. In short, the operating environment across Butler has changed. In this connection, but the strategies and the delivery of UNICEF programs in Budland anticipates changes to accelerate the achievements of planned program results. Recurrent droughts, flash floods, and army conflicts have contributed to the increased displacement of communities. Furthermore, the cost of leasing has increased and created current dire economic situation globally, thus affecting many children, their families, and communities across Portland. We will need to do more with less as resources have also dwindled internationally. This event allows us the opportunity to discuss priority strategies that shift UNICEF's support in Portland for the period between 2024-2025. Ladies and gentlemen, let us work closely together with the UNICEF to deliver assistance and support that is also strongly aligned with our development vision, as outlined in our state development plan and related sectoral strategies. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to refresh your memory on key issues raised with the Woodland Development Plan. The vision laid out in our, our development plan is progressive, resilient, and secure Woodland state of Somalia. Some of the issues raised are pertinent to our discussion today. Under the good governance sector, we raised the need for a strong public institutions with appropriate policies managed by civil servants capable of delivering basic social services to people effectively and efficiently. Furthermore, it includes establishing a strong public finance management system, improving accountability and transparency, decentralizing public service delivery to local government structures, strengthening the skills and capacity of civil servants, and improving the institutional and the human resource in all government agencies. Under the rule of law sector, the program is that enhance public trust in the judiciary will be implemented and underscored. Furthermore, we propose the human rights-based approach be applied to the provision of health, welfare, rehabilitation of services of, to the prisoners. We have also proposed entrenching decentralization through financing, which was rolled out in a pilot districts. All these align to program priorities that will be discussed, validated in this meeting today. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you all to speak openly and share your perspectives, expectations regarding priority concerns that affect vulnerable children, their families, communities in Boothland going forward. Let us, know, let us know what your opinions are which works best in achieving and sustaining results for children in Boothland. 
The government of Brutland, being the principal partner of UNICEF, assures that the findings and recommendations from this meeting will be applied to inform programmatic and operational adjustments to strategically accelerate the achievements of priority changes for the well-being of children. Over the next two and a half years, UNICEF program in Bootland should focus on the following capacity building priorities. Improving the capacity of Bootland government to generate an evidence on child deprivation. Strengthening the capacity of Bootland government to mobilize, equitably allocate, effectively use domestic and external resources to improve child well-being. Strengthening Bootland government's capacities to deliver inclusive, shock responsive social protection programs. Advancing decentralization and supporting the capacity of Bootland state and local government authorities to deliver basic social services. Thank you all, and I wish you a productive workshop. And now the workshop is open. موقتای معمولیم بانکی کسلام بانکی و گارلیه های دیگو انتقین حرمه حسلام بانکی این از لعج دیگن کرتید بانکی گا. ادبا معمول سیادا کن که اگر لعج ود دیگتید فل نرعت المام حساس صعدا. گرا حدیق سیدت سیدت لح حدیق اکن که اگر بانکی کسلام حدیق لعج تا درسو کدیم نافرگس. كوكور معلومات كاغا فاهينتا لعكتا ديجي ست سيادو هشوت حراع جالي لمبر سيرات كاغا سالكا سيادو ديجا تيد لعكتا ما اوكتا هاي ان شركة دقوليس اي كو كينتي انترنت كا او حوارها سرية دالكا ايادو ما اميشي دا او دياريسي سدح فايبر كابل كاس او جيبي اهان با ميشا كساريا ان مرنا آنو كا غوين انترنت كا شركة دقوليس وحا اي ديار كولت هاي ان اي كو غليسو غوري غاقا حفيز كاقا ايا مهرا دا هاقا كالدوان غراع هل سيديد هل او هادا دالبو انترنت كا هاقبتلا باهي هاقا انترنت ادون كانا اد كولا حريل تيد مروالبا